All right, welcome back. I am beyond excited today. We are at 31 Blue Heron in Shady Canyon, California, which we call like coastal Irvine because literally over the hill, you're right at the Pacific Ocean, just a few minutes away, just over from Newport Coast. But this property, you're in for a treat. We not only have the dream team, Paul Daftarian and Victor Jimenez from my team, uh, but they're gonna walk us around this gorgeous estate. It's incomparable. Let's take a look. Paul and Victor out by the pool. Surprised we don't find them lounging on the lounge chair. What's up, boys? What's up? What's up? What's up? I said, I, I'm not surprised I didn't see you lounging on a lounge chair. <laughs> Nick was about to. We heard you were coming. The what's man. Up? How are you? The man. man. Great to see you. Great to see you. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome. Victor, Paul, we are at one of the most epic listings that maybe we've ever had. I mean, especially for the price point. Oh, yeah. There's no yeah. question. I mean, regardless yeah. of location, I think we're all in agreement. This is one of our favorite homes we've ever shot, ever listed before. For sure. uh, besides having super cool sellers, they've got impeccable taste and the design, the architecture, all the finishes. Uh, I can't wait to talk to you about it. We're super excited. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been in a, a lot of homes in Shady and this, I mean, I love this view. I mean, you, you really, from here, you have, well, there's homes way out there. Yeah. Endless. With my eyesight, I can barely see them. <laughs> Victor's like Hawkeye, he knows who's sitting up there, but. Anyway, you've got Sorry. the infinity pool. I mean, yeah. there's so many details. I don't know, we could spend probably two hours here, but we're gonna try and yeah, we'll consolidate a little yeah. bit and yeah. show you the highlights yeah. of the house. Uh, I'm, gonna, the I'm gonna leave it to you guys. I mean, yeah. what's your favorite part of the house? Let's go straight there. Paul, I'll let you start. Well, listen, why don't we do this? Let's talk a little bit about the outside yeah. and then we'll kind of go to our favorite part. I think we all know there's a speakeasy in the house. Uh, right. It might be a little toss up between the garage and the speakeasy. Yeah. There's a lot of homes with killer garages. There's not a lot of homes with speakeasies and the kind of the vibe yeah. and the kind of flow downstairs. It's really, I can't wait to show That's you right. guys. Show also, I got it interject the gym in there is probably <laughs> one of my is, favorites. Is Nick a, needs to hit that. Yeah, yeah. He, he was actually, down there, yeah. were you using it before? I did a couple yeah. sets. Yeah. Real quick, I mean, we got to do yeah. the stats. So yeah. you've got square uh, footage, bed count. We've got seven bedrooms nine bathrooms, one of which is this really cool pool bath with an outdoor shower with some nice privacy if, if you're you know, into outdoor showering. And uh, <laughs> this one got listed today. It's got 10,680 square feet approximately, a little over 21,000, almost 22,000, half an acre lot, yep. really private. Kind of one of the best features about the house is its privacy. Um, and then the price, drum roll, 15,495. And that doesn't include the furniture, but after about two years of working with an interior designer, the house can be purchased furnished as well. And the furniture also just adds so much to the house. It just really feels like out of a magazine, out of Architectural Digest, out of Lux. I just love so many rooms and so many components. I was gonna talk about the backyard. Um, it's all one level. The outdoor uh, stone areas where you see the limestones heated, You've got a panel of outdoor heaters as well. Not that it ever gets too cold here, but you're always gonna be warm and toasty. Mm -hmm. You've got an outdoor kitchen, little Classe Azul bottles to the right over there are ready for to be drank. Um, you've got a TV and a fireplace. Again, more outdoor heaters, completely wired camera system. Uh, like Vic was saying earlier, no immediate rooftops in your view site. Literally feels like you're on vacation. I think one thing that when you guys get through the house, everyone will agree, this house makes you feel like you've gone somewhere special. I feel like I'm in Cabo. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right, yeah. This feels like Cabo, yeah. You just yeah. need the tequila, that's it. Yeah. Well, there, there's <laughs> plenty of tequila. Yeah. Um, so, some cool features, a little kind of bespoke elements, all this mosaic inlay tile in the pool with the infinity edge, and you've got the two beautiful fireplaces or fire features on either yeah. side of the pool. It's super low maintenance. <laughs> except, except for the Terminix guy. Yeah. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> so I, 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 our videos are always fun and light and like it doesn't have to Not be sure so stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shall we take a look at the inside? Yeah. yeah let's wait yeah. till he's done. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's not toxic. Yeah. Voila. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, again, we'll probably say the right, let's just keep repeating myself, but like the, the uh, Reclaimed the, the beams. Reclaimed beams are unbelievable throughout. I mean, everywhere you look, like the wood features look like they're probably from like 100 year old churches. Out yeah, there. we were told it was from a monastery in Europe. Um, then there's some railroad ties. A couple of cool features that you don't see in a lot of homes today is these metal and glass doors and windows. Yeah. They would set you back. I don't want to mention the price, how outrageous it would be. Mm -hmm. uh, the replacement value on this house 
just to do it again today with the lot is higher than our list price of 15 million 495. That's right. So, you know, I think that's something to know. Yeah, steel and glass doors in a house this size, you're talking about like 500,000? I mean, I think it was six, what? seven when they built it, probably okay. closer to one and a half million. Oh, wow. You know, yeah. and, 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 and God only knows when you'll get them. Yeah. yeah. They actually put a moratorium in France that you're not allowed to take these from any of the old mansions. Structures, structures. or churches so or no monasteries. Yeah. Priceless. Priceless. That's right. Priceless. Priceless. <laughs> so let, let's, let's so come. You walk straight into formal dining. Yeah, formal dining with this really cool table that lights up. You've got a wine cellar, wine feature there. There is a full temperature controlled wine cellar down below. Yeah. And, uh, you know, why don't we do this? Why don't we just run down there? I think that's, go there? Yeah, let's that's go there. Spot. That's our favorite spot I, in the house. I mean, this house is so sexy. It's very, like, I hate to use the word masculine because it does have a lot of femininity. It's like Iron Man house. Well, it's it's yeah, yeah, it's here, here as well. Say. Yeah, right. it's, it's kind of. So let's, let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Yeah. So Steve actually made a good point. Steve was like, it's rustic modern. Yeah. It has a lot of rustic features, but there's some geometric shapes. Yeah, like these. Like this is actually what house were we in the other day? We were saying we would replace it with something like just like this. Was it we were in Shell Beach. Shell Beach. Yeah. 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 Laundry. It's down here, you feel like you're at a boutique hotel with a spa. Like, look at this gym. I and mean, this is a proper, proper gym. We could have Vic go in there and throw some weights around. Here, hold this. I'll do something. <laughs> <laughs> this is silly. And it works. Ready? Uh, let's see. You're only about 200 pounds short on the weight. Right? Yeah, no, it works. That's for the, I that's think it's 12 year old is doing Yeah, I must say. <laughs> All right, welcome to the speakeasy. Shh, speakeasy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, my absolute favorite part of the house it's a combination of the steel, the wood, the softness of the carpet and the tones of all the furniture, it just Mighty. really feels like we've been whisked away somewhere else. It, it's funny yeah. because normally we all agree we hate carpet anywhere, but yeah. like in here, it's just it actually so comfortable and actually really works. And I, obviously I'm a big Navy fan of it, but you know, blue is my color, but. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, stone, it is. Stone, I mean, all of it, it's got a tap. Temp controlled wine cellar, like Paul was talking about earlier. Yeah, there's a little there's a little safe room behind there, a little false, little false door there too, in case, you know, <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta mount up. Um, it's just got such a cool vibe. I, I've personally spent so many fun times down here. Uh, you know, the owner here has hired a chef and a bartender, and you kind of feel like you've gone somewhere and you've never left your house, you mm -hmm. know, and it's just so special with all this reclaimed wood, with the actual, oh gosh, cabinetry, and you've got this, basically this kind of movie theater, sports arena kind of vibe going yeah. on with about three TVs. What, what is that wall finish thing? It, it's actually aluminium. Um, it, aluminium. It's, <laughs> yeah, aluminium. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's just a metal Again, wall. Again, with the bad eyesight, but yeah, this is cool. Yeah, it's it's that rustic modern like. That's I mean, right. It, all the different textures: wood, metal, mm -hmm. carpet, I mean, leather. Listen, yeah, you've got a velvet, lot of velvet leather. I mean, it's like you throw in the kitchen sink at it, but it's like baking a cake or huh. some amazing meal. You've got the ingredients that maybe not everyone could execute perfectly. Yeah. I mean, even little details like you know the the four inch cans versus the six inch. Mm -hmm. These special lighting fixtures. I think this one's uh, this one's not even on, right? This one's uh, let's see here. No, but they kill it with the pops of red. I mean, you almost feel oh, yeah. like you know you're you're at. Uh, there you go. You feel like, oh, yeah, I mean, and you don't even bad. see the grills on the speakers; they're painted to match the wood. You can see the grains and the speaker covers as well. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, let's uh, before we turn this into a two-hour video, let's, uh, let's let's rock. We saw the the gym. You've got a whole guest suite back there. So let, let's talk about like proper scale. Like there's no room in this house that feels too small. I mean, the whole point of buying a three-story estate is you don't want any room to feel unusable or out mm -hmm. of proportion. Mm -hmm. You got a massive gym. Uh, it was funny, we were shooting the house earlier with our photographer and he was like, this feels like a gym from a condo complex. It doesn't feel like yeah. someone's gym. No, this feels like a boutique hotel. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, you walk and, in. And, and if someone, <laughs> like, look, if someone's not into, they want to, they like to go to a gym, yeah. this becomes a full-blown movie theater. Oh yeah. Right, you you got the space for it. Yeah, I mean, I mean you could do whatever you want. It could be a playroom. It could be. Like so the owners during COVID, they had their trainers come to the house. Yeah. They they didn't miss a beat. They're in great shape. Yeah. I put on a COVID twenty, but I'm losing it. <laughs> um, so this is a cool toilet. This is actually a toilet from a prison. <laughs> so little features. Hopefully, um, that's the only time we'll ever see one. Yeah. 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 
Well, we're pretty rowdy. Yeah. Um, so full, full guest suite down here. Full guest suite. A lot of times people kind of classify this, this basement level bedroom as like a maid's quarters or someone like, you know, You're someone that services. Yeah. Are we not? Maid's quarters, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, help, uh, housekeepers? Uh, housekeepers? Uh, hired help. Yeah. Don't know. No, that, you definitely can't say hired help. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, so, okay. so yeah. my point is this bedroom typically is a lot smaller. This yeah. is like a king bed. Yeah. Ten foot ceilings. Yeah. You got the finishes so of the bathroom. So listen, your, your buddy that comes over and snores, I mean, you know, after a few drinks in the speakeasy, yeah. this is where they're crashing. That'd yeah. be me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be big. Wait, is this anything? That's a... <laughs> yeah, no. It's, it's, it, inside joke, I never can buy eye. That's why I bought a laser pointer because I can never tell. <laughs> these are, no, seriously, how tall are these? They're really tall for being in the basement. Yeah. Nine and a half, maybe 10. Yeah, yeah. almost yeah. 10. Now, a couple of cool things do look like you've got this window into the speakeasy. Yeah, that's from an old joke. So this house has something for everyone when you want to get dolled up and you want to basically have a special room that makes, again, you feel like you went somewhere Good. and you really didn't, you didn't leave your, your little compound. This is the salon. You get your hair did, she your nails done. done. <laughs> you got it all here. And I mean, if, if you don't know, the Tiffany blue, the Tiffany dial Patek just went for like six and a half million dollars. This is the color of the year. <laughs> I love great. it. Yeah. I love it. I can't, I can't wear it. It's not my color. It doesn't match my eyes, but yeah. I love it. I yeah. dig it. All right. So uh, this back to the garage. Oh, garage, <clears throat> storage, yeah. elevator. Proper laundry room. Again, every inch of this house is done within the same essence of the whole property. It's not like they use less expensive materials. Yeah. I, again, we're doing this all out of order, but another favorite room is the garage. Uh, no, Yo, you mean order of preference? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously we're all car guys and uh, this is no joke. <laughs> About 2,300 square feet you can fit what all six to eight cars easy. So the owner at one point where, where the camera's pointing right now had six cars, three tandem, two rows of three tandem. So there were six there and two there. So it was eight. Obviously you've got to move some cars around if you want to get the back row. Super easy. These guys right now, the owners, they pull in um, two cars in the middle here. Yeah. You got your two and three flank right there. It's easy in, easy out. The nice thing about the driveway is it's not completely subterranean. So it's not a difficult kind of traverse right. down to the garage. Yep. Okay, Vic, yep. I want to see you in that red car. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to run me over. Like Fred, 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. So let's run up. I mean, this is definitely a dream garage. So there's no question about that. Wow. Yeah, I love and, this house. And I'm a big Porsche guy, so, you know, that doesn't hurt either. You know I'm in the Targas. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you saw the, the Targa. The, the Heritage Targa? Forget it. So maybe we'll cut down to the foyer. You guys just blew right past that. The, uh, no, we're going to go there. Okay. Yeah. So, for you, so we're going to take a look at this. Some, some of these chandeliers up here and the reclaimed wood. So we're in the foyer. This is typically how a home tour would start. And look at this cool metal and glass door. Different than the metal and glass viewing windows. It You've is got a beautiful crazy fountain. Crazy heavy. No one's getting through that. You've got a private courtyard. No one from the street can see into the house. Again, the essence of privacy had to be everywhere in the house. You've got this framed reclaimed entryway. One of my favorite features is all this geometric iron handrails. It's very modern, but yet with the brick, it's pretty rustic. So the owner, you know, keeps on telling me that the idea of the house was to, you know, with the furnishings and all the interior designer to make it rustic modern, yeah. to still mm -hmm. feel old world, but kind of have these modern elements. I love the, the three circular chandeliers. It definitely kind of makes you feel like you're in Javier's or something, yeah. even here, the, the portraits of the family and the brickwork. You're, you're on beautiful limestone. This zero reveal, again, makes it modern. It's not rustic. That's not the way you do a rustic house. So it is that juxtaposition of all these different design elements. Ooh, big word. Big word. Big word of the day. Let's see. J-U-X Google. <laughs> no, um, and you just blew right past one of the coolest light pictures. We're going to walk back that way. We're going to walk back that way. So this is a room that typically people don't use all the time. It is the formal living room. Um, they made this room so cool where I think I would want to come and use it. It's again, opens to the courtyard. Mm -hmm. You've got a mini bar over there. Very cool people own this house. So we got to sell to another cool <laughs> group of people. Yeah. Um, and you kind of feel like it's almost like an atrium setting with all the windows and all the iron and you know glass everywhere. There's just again, so many materials where you don't think would make sense on paper. Normally, like if you would have said, hey, I want to do Venetian plaster and kind of like a 
bluish purple color. I would have yeah. said you're yeah. insane, but like it, it's so awesome. It works. Yeah. 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 And again, the carpet, the <clears throat> white, everything pops. And then again, you wouldn't think it would go with this limestone, but it does. It's, it just got such a cool factor. Yeah. yeah. So let's uh, let's 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 go back. It, it is a vibe. Let's check out. I love these three level kind of staircases where you've got a lighting fixture that's more than one level. Again, combination of steel, metal and glass windows, the brick, the reclaimed wood, it's, it's, it's stunning. So we haven't even made it to the kitchen, family room. <laughs> we have not, we have not. Middle of notes, maybe longer than that. <laughs> We're gonna be quick. We're gonna be quick because everything's big, open concept. We don't have to go too much into detail because the camera is gonna do all the talking for us. I mean, that, the very first time I ever saw that wall, Yeah. Is it copper steel? It isn't copper. He said it's rolled steel. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what the designer told him it was. Uh, you got a fireplace, TV's perfectly at eye level. Again, you've got that atrium setting with all the glass and, and metal on the door systems. And the kitchen and the breakfast nook, it's all open. This is how you want to live. Yeah. You know, if I closed your eyes and said you're in a modern Italian farmhouse, you're in Napa, you're in, I mean, you just came back from Aspen. This could be a property there. Um, and again, super private, high ceilings, all the beams. It just feels special. Yeah. Um, cool feature, the the island has kind of got an oversized giant's butcher block. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's it's got electricity to all the drawers, but it's on rollers, so you could roll it if you wanted to. All pro-grade appliances. I mean, all this paneling is just solid wood. It's beautiful. You got two fridges, a freezer. You got a prep kitchen back here where if you want to close it off. And this is a very cool hood. Another good use of metal here. Again, very rustic. Two yeah. dishwashers. I mean, you got everything. You got yeah. double ovens, double dishwashers. This is, is this bronze? It doesn't Look. sound like it. I, I would hate to say something that I wasn't sure about. Yeah. Let me taste it. Well, it looks, looks bronze. <laughs> looks bronze. Looks bronze. Yeah, bronzy, bronzy. So, another cool feature about the house is for the owner's suite is on the main level. So, when you live in this house, you pretty much live on one floor with almost zero steps. Look at these little details with these angled wall lines instead of just a you know 90 degree or bull nosed. I haven't seen that before. You got another metal clad fireplace here. Bronzish. Bronzy. Bronzy. So very cool owner suite. Yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this place. That are coming into the like, this is awesome. So retreat, French doors that go out, you got another door. It kind of has like a sexy yet warm and inviting vibe in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, the furniture kind of like is still a little bit old world, kind of feels world traveled. There's a, a lot of onyx in the next room. Um, yeah. yeah so, there. yeah, three way mirror, three, yeah. extra auxiliary sink, kind of makeup vanity area, the steam shower, full onyx, floor to ceiling. Yeah, full onyx slabs. It's steam amazing. shower. It's like 100 square feet. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's huge. It's bigger than your old apartment in New York. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And this is the, uh, I call the Honeymooners Grotto. Get ready. Ooh, hey yeah. now. <laughs> Sexy time. You, you could fire up a new romance or rekindle the existing one. Completely private. Oh yeah, more privacy. That's what this house offers. Obviously the tub's carved out of a single piece of stone. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was not light to move in from what I hear. Vic and I had a little trouble on that top. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are strong, I believe in you. Yeah. Um, no, but the integrated sinks, I mean, you catch all this, I mean, this is just mm -hmm. the detailing. Yeah, again, your favorite word, juxtaposition, but like, the stone with all the wood. I mean, look, you you've got, you've got French oak floors, mm -hmm. this beautiful custom cabinetry, the onyx with the inlaid sink, the brick, and then you've got basically glass and chrome, if you will. Yeah. It just, it all ties together. I mean, my hat's off to the original design team, the build team, and the inter interior designer that the current owners brought in. They really knocked it out of the park with this one. This house has such a cool factor. You want to look in there? No. Nope. No, that's it. Closet's off limits, but as you would ex expect, it's amazing. 
Obviously, it's a smart home. You've got the whole property is run with Creston, home automation, lighting, pool, home security, camera systems, surround, all that yeah. at, the, at your fingertips. You know, Paul brought up a good point earlier too. Being that Shady Canyon is a lot of hills and this house is completely flat on the main floor and the backyard. So that's just an added bonus to this property. Yeah. 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 I love these steps. These steps. <laughs> <Yeah. Except for laughs> I, I love these little de de details. Yeah. You know, obviously the, the like kind stealing of stealing glass, like yeah. still laid like flower, uh, flower. clover. <laughs> I mean you got your lights coming through the ground, everything's planned perfectly. Lights, yeah. Again, here's another room with that Venetian plaster. It's a great office. You've got you know, kind of a meeting in here. The kids want to have some iPad time and you want to kind of give their own space. You've got this. And I love that it leads out to the courtyard, the courtyard, and uh, it's pretty private still. Serious business. Yeah. Yeah, and if someone wanted, you could do a steel and glass door yeah. here. Yeah. So this is this is one of our six bedrooms. Um, they don't have six children, um, so they they set this up as kind of an overflow space for when the kids are here, kind of a homework area. Even though there is a loft upstairs. True. Yeah, it's a bonus space. This is where the Doberman sleeps. Low key. Yeah. For all you would-be robbers. <laughs> you're getting bit. Don't mess with this one. Yeah. Again, shot. this is something I would have never guessed. You know, this wood and stone and glass. Yeah. I mean, again, these materials, I just don't see. I and mean, we've got listings from 1 million to 50 million. And I just haven't seen these kinds of materials used in any of them. Yeah. No, it's a, uh, it's a very cool lab that they've created. And again, I think if someone would have said to you, Hey, I want to do a glass front sink in the powder room or in the bedroom. You probably would have said no, but well, oh. nice shot later. Yeah, yeah, this is amazing. amazing. The dome, I know. Let's do the dome. I love the little catwalk setting. It's just not like straight across. You it up. Yeah. We could also use the elevator, which goes to three floors. We will take the steps today. This is another super cool obviously shot. underlit. You know, a lot of things are geometric in the house, but the staircase feels circular, and then it's kind of mimicked by these three circular lights. Really cool. Okay. So this is where the this is where the elevator comes up to here. Like Vic said, services all three floors. You got three guest bedrooms or kids bedrooms. They're all en suite, obviously. Very cool. One of them's really oversized. Mm -hmm. It's almost like kind of a junior primary suite. Every bedroom has a balcony, all the bathroom finishes are cool. Again, even up here, you're really not looking at anyone else's property, which is pretty unique. Another guest bedroom here with some amazing views. A little reading lounge, kind of a loft space. And this is very cool. Yeah. This is a creative space for their kids. Yeah, music, TV books for reading, kind of homework area, auxiliary space. This could also be like a cool, you know, teen. There could be like an in-law suite too. Yeah. Have like a, a lounge and then you've got the bedroom back here. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah, the way, they, the way they've got it set up is definitely multifunction. More beautiful onyx in here in this bathroom on the sinks as well as the shower. Yeah, it's a pretty cool colored onyx. It looks like almost like crushed uh, um, Himalayan sea salt. So uh, we don't, we didn't advertise this house as a Waterview property, but that is downtown Long Beach and Palos Verdes. You're looking through here, pop that open. Wow. Yeah, really pretty hot. Huh? City light views, like you said, all the way down to Long Beach. And let me ask you, what do you hear right now? Yeah, air condenser? Uh, besides that, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, right? so. <laughs> this, is, this is why people move to Shady Canyon. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They want they want privacy, privacy security. They want, and they want peace and quiet. Big and if lots. you want to golf, they have a Tom Fazio mm -hmm. golf course. Vic, you were telling me, what did they rank the golf course? One of the, America's best, according to Golf Digest. Yeah, not according to that hearing group. Fact check. <laughs> This is another cool kind of built-in they added. Yeah. And it's got a little light right here too. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I love it. It's a very cool space. So we've seen the outdoor spaces, almost all of them. We've seen the basement level. We've seen the main level. We've seen the upper level now. I think it's time to 
kick you guys out now? Yeah, I'm sure they, they probably want to come back. <laughs> yeah, the owners come, came back and they said, uh, they heard Vic makes a mean Manhattan. That's it. Yeah, so get your get your shaker going. And bottoms up. It, it is margarita time, I believe. Because we feel like we're in Cabo right now, so margarita Mondays. Oh, yeah. This is the... Uh, oh, right there. Cool, it's all mirrored. Yeah. Wood carries through. Just, you know. Not, there's not an inch of this house that isn't done perfectly. Okay. All right, well, so there right. you have it. I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. I mean, some new family is going to really appreciate this property. Thank you, guys. Amazing Our job. Pleasure. Our this pleasure. Is, I, mean, I can't wait to see who, who's going to be in this uh, house. I'm going to be sad when this house sells just because I won't be able to be hanging out. Hopefully, we're friends with the new owners because we've had so many good just memories. Yeah, we have to sell owners. it to a friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. So if you know us, Hit us on the DM. This one probably won't last, and uh, this one, there's nothing like it really anywhere. I mean, you have to pretty much go to um, the Strand right now to find anything somewhat similar. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're excited but about it, this one. This in the Strand would be twice as much. That's right. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd be further than 14 minutes away from John Wayne Airport. Correct. Or 15 minutes away from the beach, or 10 minutes from Fashion Island, or in the Irvine School District. I don't know, how's the school district in the Strand? Yeah, it's called private. private. It's called private school. Yeah, it's called St. Mark. <laughs> All right, boys. Thanks again, right. Mike. All right. All right, dude. Thank you, brother. Right. Thanks for coming by. Ooh, That's like a wrap. This. I like this show right here. Yeah.